Hi, good morning, Thunder Middle School. This is Mr. James with another episode of Storytime. Uh, my story today is about an accident that I saw take place. I may have laughed a lot about it too, so I apologize to my cousin for laughing at him. But when I was younger, before I was in seventh grade, my family lived in a different house just down the road from my grandparents. And so we would ride our bicycles back and forth to their house. Um, my grandparents lived on a dirt road portion of our road where we lived on a paved part of our road. And every, we had a lot of family get togethers at my grandparents. And so I'd hang out with my extended family, my cousins, my aunts, uncles, etc. So we would ride our bikes down there because why bother take our car when we could just ride our bikes less than a mile away. So we would always have our bikes with us my cousins, however, because they didn't live down the street from my grandparents, they didn't always have their bikes with them. So my grandparents had a stockpile of old bikes that they didn't use. So my cousins would usually ride those bikes and all together we would ride our bikes up and down the road and we would try and like pop wheelies and stuff. And there was a really, really large hill just down the way from my grandparents' house. And so what we would do is we would ride our bikes down or down the road to that hill. We'd go to the very top of that hill and then we would go as fast as we can down the hill. And because they lived down on a kind of a secluded dirt road, there were never a whole lot of cars coming down the road. So we, we figured, all right, we're fine. My cousin, however, the only bike he could ride because they were either really, really tiny bikes or really, really big adult bikes. And again, we were maybe middle school aged. So he had to ride what's called a road bike. So I pulled a picture of my phone to kind of illustrate. I'll give it a second to see if that works. So a road bike kind of looks like that. I oh, mean, that's there. So it's got really, really thin tires. And because it was a dirt road, obviously it's not probably a good idea to, to ride a bike like that on a dirt road because the tires are like really thin, but my cousin did it anyway. So we rode to the top of this hill and we were coming down it. And I was behind my cousin and I kid you not, he had two accidents on this very same bicycle. The first one, he got too far to the right and he ended up going into some sand and the bicycle literally just whoop, fell out from under him and he biffed it hard because he was going really fast. And so he recovered like another, the next summer, we're doing the same thing. We ride up that hill. This time he's learned not to get too far to the right, not to hit the sand. And so we're going really, really fast on the hill and we're gonna, we're still going down the road. And then all of a sudden, a neighbor's dog just runs out in front of him. And my cousin's knee jerk reaction is to grab the brakes. So. He hits the brakes, the handle brakes on the bicycle, but he forgets to hit the one and he hits, he hits the brake on the left, which was the front brake. So the front tire braked and he went flying over the handlebars. He didn't hit the dog, he got really close and the dog like freaked out and ran away. But he again biffed it pretty hard and that one I laughed a lot at, it was hilarious. So. That's my quick story of the day about my cousin getting hurt. I enjoyed it. I don't think he did, though. So hope you enjoyed my story of the day. Have a good day, and hopefully we will see you Monday.